all right guys okay so we are going to discuss the this problem three problems yeah the problem name is three problems and we are going to discuss it right now okay so there are uh, given n problems and uh, every problem belongs to either of these types type 1 type 2 or type 3 okay t1 denotes the type 1 problems t2 denotes the type 2 problems and t3 denotes the type 3 problems okay and we can solve each problem using any of the three given methods either method a or method b or method c okay so overall uh, there are n problems and all the problems like uh, each of the problems belongs to either t1 or t2 or t3 and uh, any of the problems can be solved with any of the methods if a problem uh, let's say i is going to be solved with the method j then it will cost you a certain amount okay so it is going it is going to be denoted by 3 into 3 matrix where a matrix aij represents the effort to solve a type i problem using method g okay and what we need to output as our answer is the minimum effort required to solve all the problems okay so we all know that there are n problems and each type problems can be solved with any other methods and uh, like it will cost you a some amount and we need to minimize that amount such that all the problems are being solved okay so to be very honest when i have read out this problem i was thinking about the greedy approach or in the worst case uh, anyone can think for a binary search technique but uh, when i am going to explain you that uh, either of these methods is not fruitful over here like i'm i don't know how the other people have solved but i have solved uh, in a very different manner okay like you can see that if you apply a greedy approach i have uh, maintained something table like this one okay so like uh, this is the problem t1 and it is going to be solved with uh, let's say the method b and it will cost you c21 okay so the very first thing that strikes in your mind that you are going to start with that problem like that type of problem and using that type of method which will give you you which will start with the minimum cost okay so what i am saying is that let's say c23 okay is the minimum value among all those c values that are present over here okay let's say c23 is the minimum value then you are going to easily say that i am going to use this one as the first one that is i am going to use the type 3 problems and use the method b and it will cost to you the c23 and i am going to just uh, use a greedy approach and in the next case you will say that this is the second minimum number and i am going to use the type 2 problems and i am going to use this one but uh, can you think that this is the optimal way to do that not this is not the optimal way why this is not the optimal way suppose that t3 has t3 requires the method b uh, like there are x amount of t3 type of problems and it will require the method b costing c23 amount okay like and uh, there are some like t2 type of problems and uh, it will also require this method b right and uh, this c22 is going to be like greater than c23 okay so you will say that i am going to be uh, i am not going to use c22 first i am going to use c23 first as obvious if you are using the greedy approach but what about the case when c22 is going to be like uh, uh, uh like c22 requires the method b but but c32 says that method c is required and the using method c for type 2 problems is much higher okay in other words i am trying to say that uh, there might be some case where we need to require that is we need to require type 2 problems being solved by the method b and this is going to minimize the cost there may be some keys okay so we are not going to consume the entire opportunities to use the method b for only t3 type of problems okay so this is not the optimal i think greedy approach is not optimal i have written down some of the examples and i have understood that i am left uh, like i am leaving out this sub task for you to understand why this is not like why the greedy approach is not going to work and still if you are stuck upon that you can comment it down and i am going to help you as obvious okay so but now what i am going to do is like uh, a very clever and smart approach okay so you can see that there are three into three matrix 
and uh, there are five test cases okay so what, what i'm going to do is i'm not aware about that which uh, series of pattern will give you will minimize you the overall cost so i'm trying out the all the patterns like there are nine possible cost that is being given to here like three into three there are nine possible cost so what is the sequence of choosing these cost would be nine factorial okay so i'm choose, trying to choose all these cost in a sequential manner like i can choose c31 first then i'm going to use c11 then i'm going to use c32 and so on like i'm trying out the every possible cases okay so if i'm trying out the every possible cases and i'm trying out to minimize that and let's check it out whether this is going to work for the given specified time limit okay so you you can see that what is the value of this 9 factorial so 5 factorial is 120 and 6 7 8 and 9 yes it is 362880 and there are five test cases also so it is around 4, four 5 six, like uh, what is this value This value is around uh, 10 raised to the power 7, I guess. Yes. Like uh, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes, it is around 10 raised to the power 7. And I think this will be around uh, 2 seconds for each input file. And this will work because the maximum limit is around for online judges is around 10 raised to the power 8 iteration. That's why I'm talking it about. Okay, so we are trying to out the every possible cases. So I'm going to show out the code and I'm going to explain along with. Okay. So you can see that uh, I've solved in the single attempt because uh, this is a actually a foolish problem. I can say that because uh, if you are a, like a smart worker, then you can easily grasp this idea. Okay, so what I'm done doing it about like storing the cost in a DP three into three, like it is a cost DP. You can also say and type and cost like type of problem and the cost. Uh, okay, so this cost is actually the uh, number of times met a particular method can be used. So it is going to be represented by this cost vector. Okay, so don't get confused. So I'm going to store all the cost values if a particular type problem is going to be utilized for the method G. Okay, and uh, this vector V is going to generate all those permutations. Okay, so I'm going to fill out all the values from 0 to 8. In this uh, nine sized vector, and I'm going to generate all those permutations using next permutation of C STL function. Okay, so what is my current answer? Current answer is zero, and TT and CC is going to store this all those type and cost, which is the method amount. Okay, a particular method can be used this amount of times. Okay, and uh, if uh, I've generated all those permutations, like uh, we have the permutation as let's say two, three, 9 8 7 6 and so on like suppose we have this 8 so how i can identify that which column number and which uh, row number this is going to signify so i can break this 8 as the row number should be like 8 by 3 the integer value and the column number would be like 8 modulus 3 so it is going to denote the second and uh, this one like it is going to denote this one i think i'm correct i don't know yeah it is going to denote this one i think yeah like uh, two like if i'm going to use the zero based indexing zero one two yes it is going to denote c three three so if uh, the value is eight it is going to denote the third row and third column okay so i've generated all those permutation and for a particular uh, sequence i'm going to find out the row number and column number in this i and this j and uh, like uh, i'm going to use this type i problem for using the method g okay and i am going to use the maximum amount and how i am going to do that it will require tt i amount of like there are tt of i amount of problems and uh, there are cc of j amount of methods that are available so i will find out the minimum and increment our cost with that uh, minimum like multiplying with that minimum and also I'm going to reduce the number of times I've used both problem and uh, method. Okay, that's why I've uh, decremented TT of I and CC of J with minimum MN. Okay, and I'm going to use this in a sequential manner for every permutation. Okay, and at last if uh, 
all the problems are consumed it means that yes this type of permutation can yield a valid result okay and i'm going to find out the minimum for all those sequences and finally print the answer this will work in the given time limit as i have already said okay so this will give you all test cases passed so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video